G'day friends, Jack here, and I am here to make a delicious comfort food pasta bake replicating tuna bake. But this one is cruelty free and using chickpeas. So chickpeas are a fantastic way to replicate that tuna like texture and the flavors that I'm gonna show you today, you can make some delicious vegan friendly tuna for yourself. Anyway, it's just a handful of ingredients no cooking, any ingredients, we're just gonna bake it in the oven at the end. But this, friends, it's gonna be super simple. You're gonna love it. So we just got one can of chickpeas. This has been drained and rinsed. And now all we're gonna do with this one to get that tuna-like texture is we're just gonna mash it up in this bowl right here. I mashed that up and then I've already chucked in the other ingredients. So these ingredients, handful of ingredients here. So it was just two tablespoons of lemon juice, four tablespoons of hummus. What I generally use, I have the Yumi's hummus. So it is super, super delicious. Three tablespoons of water and then also one tablespoon of, of ground chia seeds. So what the water and the chia seeds, it's gonna bind up to all the ingredients and kind of bind up this delicious chickpea tuna right here. And then I also chucked in half a cup of red onion, diced up finely. So just giving a little bit more flavor, a little bit more texture on it as well. And then finally, one third of a cup of vegan mayo went in here. So it is looking super creamy in here. Check that out. And then all we're gonna do at the end, once you've combined that all together, just add in a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Then we're just gonna mix this around and what you can do now, you can just chuck this in the fridge whilst we make the other ingredients for this delicious chickpea tuna bake. But if the sound of this already sounds delicious, you can make like a chickpea tuna sanger, chickpea tuna salad. You can end the video right here and take this and eat it out of the bowl as well. It is super flavorsome, super delicious and replicates kind of like that tuna taste and texture a little bit as well. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna whack this in the fridge and I'm gonna show you the rest of the ingredients for this delicious creamy chickpea tuna bake. All right, so that has been sitting in the fridge for a little bit. And now I've also cooked about 500 grams of panay pasta here. I'm just using pulse pasta. You can use any pasta that you want in your pasta dish. So just cook some of that, set it aside. And now we're gonna make like a the creamy, buttery sauce that is gonna go all throughout this pasta bag. So all we've got, another bowl right here. So what we've got, we've got half a cup of vegan butter. I've just got like the Nutilex here, so melted up there. Also, we've got two thirds of a cup of plain flour. All we're gonna do now, we've got a whisk. We've got a two thirds of cup of soy milk here. So we're just gonna whack this in, whisk it together so there's no lumps. Check out that sauce already. Looking really good in there. We're gonna have a bit more flavor with this sauce. So we've got two Garlic cloves minced up here. If you love your garlic, definitely add in some more. And then we've got one tablespoon of vegan mayo. So we've got a dash of lemon juice here, so probably about another tablespoon of lemon juice. And then we're gonna season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we'll just whisk this together. So that is your creamy sauce right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add in our cooked pasta into this dish and get a spoon and mix it so your pasta is covered in this sauce, this creamy sauce. And then finally get your chickpea tuna and chuck that in as well. And then mix it around so it's all covered again. It's smelling delicious, it's creamy, it's delicious looking. It is unreal. All you're gonna have to do now is chuck it into an oven dish. And then what we've made here, like a simple crumb on top, it's just some breadcrumbs, some parsley, some oregano, sprinkle all over the top, and then we're gonna whack it in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes until it starts to get a little brown on top. It is gonna be spectacular.
But here we go, friends, this delicious creamy chickpea tuna bag. Unreal, no time at all. It smells incredible. If you could smell through the screen, you would be in love. Super simple recipe, super comforting recipe. You honestly have to try this out for yourself. You will absolutely love this recipe. Anyway, friends, that is it for this delicious chickpea tuna pasta bake. Definitely try it out. As I said earlier, you're gonna love it. If you enjoyed this video, chuck a like, share it around and subscribe to this channel for more amazing, easy vegan recipes for you to try out yourself and a bunch of other vegan friendly content that I'm sure you're gonna love as well. Anyway, friends, I have some delicious comfort food to get through. So until next time, I will catch you very, very soon.